Hi, in this video I'd like to talk about diabetes type 2. Firstly, I want you to not think about diabetes type 2 as a disease, but more of a reaction, something that's going on inside your body. Uh, the rise and almost epidemic levels of diabetes has only been seen in the last 50 years and has coincided with a huge rise in carbohydrate and sugar intake in most people's diet, which may be something for you to consider if you're really struggling to manage your diabetes type 2. Okay. So just to make sure that you fully understand what diabetes type 2 is, let's go through the whole process of what happens when you eat or drink. Obviously, when you eat anything, fat, protein, carbohydrates, or have a very sugary drink like a soda or even alcohol, then there is a certain amount of blood glucose that's going to go up because of the sugar contained within those foods. Obviously, um, like I say, carbohydrates and uh, sugary drinks are obviously the worst because that will elicit a very big response from your pancreas. Your pancreas is here and it secretes insulin. Insulin's job is to stop sugar levels in your blood rising too high or dropping too low. Um, both of those are called either hyperglycemic events where you have too much blood sugar or hypo, that's where you have not enough blood sugar. And that's insulin's main job, to make sure you have enough blood glucose flowing around your body. So with diabetes type 2, there is too much insulin and there is a big reason for that. Let's talk about the major uh, pathway for what happens to the insulin. Okay, it, it sees that there's glucose in the bloodstream and it will take that excess energy to your muscles and to your liver. And if there's any more excess, sadly, that will be stored as fat. And that's basically what fat is. It's storage of extra energy. So if you have too much insulin, what's going on? Well, the reason there is a resistance to the insulin is because there is so much of it. It's a bit like when you have a teenage uh, daughter, uh, maybe I'm laughing because I'm speaking from experience, where you ask them to tidy their bedroom and you say it so often, they eventually put their fingers in their ears and they are resistant to what you're saying. Well, in the body, that's pretty much the same. The cells are beginning to find that they are oversensitized. There's too much insulin. But the problem with that is when the receptors shut down, the energy isn't getting into your body. And the body is amazing. It sends a message back to the pancreas because it doesn't realize the receptors are flooded and resisting so much and asks for even more insulin. So a type two diabetic will have high levels of insulin, but oddly also high levels of sugar. And that's a very dangerous situation. The drug that is most often prescribed is metformin. And the way metformin works is by making those receptors a lot more receptive. So that's how that is working. But maybe we should look at nutrition and the reason why there is so much insulin in the first place. I'm a great believer that if we can look at the cause of the problem rather than just fix the symptom, you're going to be a much happier person. So if you look at your diet, maybe you want to consider less sugar, less carbohydrates. And we will be talking about that in another video when I discuss the GI index and the insulin index. I hope this was helpful. Don't forget to subscribe if you're watching this on YouTube.